Here in Allen County, some registered sex offenders are petitioning a judge to be taken off the registry. They believe a ruling by the state Supreme Court restores their rights to not have their name on it. As News Channel 15's Megan Stemble reports from Studio 15, this ruling is creating a lot of work for local judges. Heather, that's exactly right. I spoke with Judge John Serbak today. He says he has a whole stack of requests from registered sex offenders that have just recently come in. Now, let me give you the history here. In a landmark decision by the Supreme Court, judges there decided it was unconstitutional to apply the sex offender registration law to people convicted before the law was written. An offender must petition the court to be removed from the list. So far, several in Allen County have done so. Judge John Serbeck says, for as black and white as this whole situation seems to be, each case is really looked at critically by judges and also by the prosecuting attorney's office. We don't necessarily have a quick answer to every situation any more than we have a quick answer to every situation that arises in the courtroom. In Allen County, the Supreme Court ruling could potentially impact 245 people of the 650 people or so who are registered as sex offenders. That's more than a third of the entire group, more than a third that could potentially, potentially fly under the radar now without their neighbors knowing the crimes they were convicted of or their addresses. Tonight on News Channel 15 at 6, you will meet a convicted offender that is going through the process right now of getting off the registry. Hear why he says the registry is more punishment for the families of offenders than it is to the offenders themselves. That's coming up at the top of the 6 o'clock hour. Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.